Anyways, moving on to your beloved Manchester United, Joe. Mm. Not great, is it? Doing yeah. well, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> Thoughts on Casemiro? Uh, obviously, yeah. It's time to learn Chinese, Pretty, buddy. <laughs> I think he's obviously a bit of a stinker, isn't it, yesterday? And like, it's just highlighted. I remember Gary Neville saying like that was his West Brom game. Like, I, yeah. I can feel that vibe. But he's just so not helped. Like, he is not helped by the system. Didn't he? Eat I understand that? he's making these individual errors and they are very high profile, aren't they? But by the system, do you mean how, like how, how much you... you you're the amount of space in midfield, yeah, it does not you, work. Yeah. I think yeah. in the first half, he gave the ball away 12 times times yeah I, we can all see the first half was an yeah. absolute disaster class wasn't it and he got hooked to half time but the first two weeks of the season I think you know people were saying oh there's no change for United no change for United United looked way better when Mason Mount was in the team and it was a box midfield four mm -hmm. and the, you had the split strikers absolutely Mount gets injured Xerxes comes in and we go back to almost playing that sort of 4-2-3-1 yeah. and immediately Casemiro is just like the gaps are so big man. I'm chasing everything which is obviously not a great look but it's his on the ball ability is where he gets highlighted and I think that's mm. the biggest problem with the setup mm. because he's being asked to drop in between the two centre backs pick the ball up and progress oh, it the, lines, the, yeah. the, wing, the full backs are yeah. playing like right winger left winger and you're asking Casemiro to play in between he's never done he's that never been able to, yeah, he's literally never done that so he starts making these mistakes and like what is going on this might look at state of Casemiro that's not his game yeah. if it's not his game we've got to stop playing for that being his game like it, I think individual errors are highlighted because the system is so dysfunctional at the moment when like you play the, that 4-2-3-1 in the first half he got a little bit um, isolated in there as well yeah, he lost all his confidence as well didn't yeah. he he lost all of his confidence you could like see it as soon as he got pressed it was like he didn't made the first mistake. I don't want the ball yeah. he dribbled it when he, on the touchline there was a moment where he like took two dribbles yeah, and, and then he just, just like, stumbles yeah, no, the yeah. panic pass which led to the goal yeah. as well was awful I but I, I feel sorry you for that. how much Liverpool can hurt you in those... But yeah. Liverpool's midfield. Well, they're ruthless. Yeah. They're so ruthless. The way Gravenberg and McAllister were just next to each other, Sobolowski in front of them, it, it, they just moved like that. It was just constantly like... They were, yeah. actually, they were communicating with each other. And it, <laughs> it, no, it's, it's actually mad to say, right? But it looked like Casemiro was just... I felt so sorry for Maynou as well, like man. That. Like May Maynou's been asked to do the job about four blokes. He's like yeah. running around, covering like 14K mm -hmm. probably, trying to dribble past five players, split the lines, pick the ball up yeah. deep. He's like and being basically asked to do When Maynou got caught on the ball for one of their goals, no like, did you see yeah. United had six players ahead of him? Yeah. He had zero options. And it's structural, man. Like I... Don't know whether you guys watched the post-match interview of Arna Schlott talking yeah, about yeah, like Man, how United, he just, yeah, he just, Man United's yeah. pressing structure with like last season it was the wingers, now it's the forwards. Last night it was back to being the fullbacks, yeah. uh, uh, like 45 yards past the ball. When players have got their back to play, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that can happen when you've got a structure at a free and everybody's facing forward get the fullbacks high and wide. When you got your back to play and you're receiving here and the fullbacks yeah. are like you're right off. wing and left wing, there's nowhere to play. This clip from Pitch Side is brought to you by Super 6. Super 6 will be back after the international break on the 14th of September playing for a cool £250,000. Download the app, predict the six scores and if you get them all correct, the money could be yours. You can also compete against me, Reeve and Theo on the official Pitch Side Mini League. The code to join that is PTCH. 24 and we'll also be giving away £100 classic football shirts voucher every round it's super simple just put it your six scores enter your golden goal hit submit and you're all set follow the link in the description and sign up now 18 plus be gamble aware T's and C's apply and can be found at super6.skysports.com slash landing slash pitch side Dude, like Casemiro can't get it on the half turn and turn. And yeah, he's spray never going to be that person. Yards. The way Slot was game. talking about it yesterday, by the way, was so crazy because it... It's crazy it, it, to come out and actually like admitted that. But, he's saying, away he, but it, it's crazy how easy it was for him just to figure it out and just tactically change things. And it, he's been an impressive just, slot, really, really, really no, he has, impressive, uh, haven't they? I thought Liverpool were going to struggle this season because of the transition yeah. period. But he's come in there and he just looks... I solid, think as well, he? his like, communication is just excellent slot straight what? away. To the players, you mean? To the, I don't know. I mean, hard to tell with the players, oh, isn't it? With the, the press. With the press. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like when you just watch him in an interview, you're like, ah. He's like, very assured, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, you just trust him straight away. I thought he like, his treatment of, of Trent, like was it the week before where he took him off and had that bit of a Barney on the bench? I think he like laid down a bit of a mark yesterday yeah. as well. When he was like, 70 minutes, Trent, you're off again. Right. Okay. Like I think that was a bit of like a... Interesting come on right like, I'm the man here if I want to take you off you're coming off even though Trent was having a good game I think he highlights how he's excellent how poor Ten Hag is poor Ten Hag is I think what he highlights about Ten Hag especially is I think Ten Hag does struggle in a oh, media and that in the media and Christ, things yeah. where like you are obviously Manchester United manager the scrutiny is insane yeah. and sometimes you can bail yourself out with like 
being really strong with the press and being like very sort of open with your answers and things. But the sort of going back to this, oh, you know, two trophies. That's so also he said, did you see the yeah, interview yeah, when too much now. the interview was like all these mistakes and he was like, what mistakes about the game? And if he went on and it, it, the Name reporter yeah, he went on yeah. a mistake, mistake, and he said, "Yeah, well, it. in a, in a post match press conference, you're going to be emotional in that." Like I always mm. feel like in but those post match press conferences, it's hard to judge him. It's more the wider thing for me. It's like he was saying they weren't making mistakes. I, I think, think that might be him trying to protect his players. Yeah. I don't know what. That Definitely, is. You're, you're trying to. You're trying to. Though, yeah. he, he's also like got to protect himself. Yeah. Hasn't he to a level because he nobody else is defending Ten Hag, so yeah. he's got to go out there and defend himself in this situation. Because over the summer, it was pretty clear that Man United were trying to look at other managers and he, discussing he, other he, managers. He's not going to stay there, is he, he? He has to. He has to defend himself. So I, I don't particularly mind when he's like, "Look, we're this, we're that, mm. we're doing this." It's just when it's like the repeat repetitiveness mm. of the trophies, and it's like, how much? How much? I, we've got to see a bit more progression on the pitch here. How much is to blame for the higher ups with? Obviously, they didn't get a new manager in. Mm. They stuck with Ten Hag. The Agar Agarte they were trying to get all summer, and they got, got him on him now. Deadline day, but they didn't get him in time to play against Liverpool. Yeah, and but I, I think he would have made a big difference. But why are they leaving these things like deadline day? And they wanted him all summer. People say this all yeah, the time. Like, like, they like, take time. These chances, like, they, and also I don't think you got him. You can't play. You can't go. Well, you should have got him a week ago. Like, I think every, got him, they? I think the summer was largely positive for United. Like I they got business done pretty yeah, early. Nice they they've got players a decent age and like a much more reasonable fee. But it's not, it's not the players that are coming in that is like the talking point here, is it? It's like the players that have been working now with Ten Hag for two full seasons. This is my argument. I don't, like, I don't I, see what's going on. I, well, I just think there needs to be... I like, I'm like. i never for sacking the manager. I just think he needs to adapt that style of play. That has got to change. Well, that midfield. Well, you know, really do that that well, well, he's tried to do it at the start of the season, hasn't he? With that with Mount playing alongside right. Bruno. Like That's clearly... He, it's, Back in the last season, cup final uses the 4 2 2 worked, didn't it? Worked. Start this season, beats Fulham, it's okay. First half against Brighton was okay, but the system and structure is way better. The lines are way tighter. Yeah. The midfield is, looks way more structured. As soon as that box midfield changes and like Xerxes comes in, who's not a 10 or a but pressing really player, at the weekend. it's like, okay, we're going to go back to that system. Mm. Like, can we not adjust here and play, like continue to play the box with the two wide forwards? I also thought the dropping of Ahmad was a bizarre decision. We had no. the Bayern Sally had the most touches in... Yeah. But bizarre box. decision. I mean, literally one money that's prior a month and then yeah. like dropped straight away. Um, Do you think that might be for um, counter-attacking? Garnacho's better. Uh, yeah, I, I just think that you just... If... Garnacho is going to come in. I'm not totally sure it's Ahmad that gets dropped for it. Um, like Ahmad that gets oh, dropped for him. I think. Right, I think right. like yesterday the treatment of Rashford away I thought was well over the top. I actually didn't think he was that bad. I thought he had a good game. He was getting booed. Oh, and we all didn't sorts, have the sound on that. Yeah, it was tough out. But there, he right. he put it on a plate for Xerxes a couple of times. Uh, you know? Like he was not at his best, mm -hmm. and he's obviously out of form. Yeah. But like some of the post match reaction, like from certain YouTubers, right? <laughs> it was like, come on, yeah. blaming Rashford for that loss. Well, certain YouTubers who always slight him, you mean? Or yeah. Oh, right. like <laughs> let, let, just a bit, bit ridiculous like blaming Rashford I didn't think he was, he, 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 he was he was fine yeah. he was nowhere near one of our worst players yeah, on the yeah, day yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, Xerxes and Casemiro were your two worst players I would personally like to see Garnacho on the left and, and Ahmad Martin on the right Martin has had a bit of a stinker yeah. like he struggled he a little bit at the yeah. start of the season Martinez Which but I wonder whether it's back, Copper, like Copper America like yeah. tired straight in yeah. and eat you know, most of the players that come back from like Copper America or Euros have had rest he's like first game Community Shield back in yeah, do, you, do you think you're in big trouble my time a bit weird. do you think winning the trophy winning the FA Cup in hindsight is done more worse than good for no because no. you always win tro like trophies are trophies yeah, and it's obviously a positive for to long win term. that uh, no I don't because I don't think that I'm not totally sold that the trophy was the reason they didn't go for a new manager like I, I, think, oh, I don't think they, 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 I don't think they knew who they, they want. really wanted yeah, it was like if there had been a standout name yeah. I still think that even with the trophy they'd have done it yeah, they'd have committed agree. to that I agree and the issue they've now got is that if you know I don't turn it around it's like how many changes has there been to that managerial market situation that you then don't look like oh we've made a big mistake right here. so if you were in charge would you now stick it out with Ten Hag I think he's got to get till Christmas Depends how bad it gets. So it does, really, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's always going to be a decision yeah. to be made. Isn't how long's there? Mount out for? Uh, eight weeks, I think. Oh fucking hell! 
Do, what is going on with you and injuries as well? Like, this is a problem as well, isn't it? Like at one be, stage, it can't be a coincidence. I, agree, can I, it? Agree. I think at one stage, like it goes from you're unlucky, yeah, to something's definitely going it, wrong. Like, is it is training? It, it, no, maybe it, it's hard to say, isn't it? it to you there, recovery. Like we would never know. But, but it, either either way, I think that he, he'll he'll get like three months, I'd say. But if United are in a position at Christmas where it's untenable, like I think decisions will be made pretty yeah. quickly. Like. And in fairness, with the new... It's only um, three games in, though. Like, yeah, no, no, right. yeah, yeah. And I, I, thought you, I actually thought you was all right against Fulham. I know Fulham had the odd chance yeah. on the break and stuff. And then, <laughs> we were all right against Brighton like, as well. First half against Brighton. And, okay, it's Man United. It's the but, structure, mate. It's the structure. Like, not many teams are going to get to Brighton and win or no, pick up points. The, the, the problem was is that Man United at Old Trafford against one of their biggest rivals and structure, they just looked all over yeah. the place. Yeah that, no. yeah, that is a big worry. But, mate, hopefully he learns from that and then they don't play like that again. Well, yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? 